Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. It is November 4th to be exact, the day that I'm filming this video and that means it is time to begin decorating for Christmas. The tradition that I grew up with, we put our Christmas tree up the day after Thanksgiving and I continued with that tradition up until 2019. Waiting to decorate until the end of the month just wasn't allowing us enough time to get to enjoy all of the Christmas decor. I was really excited to decorate this year because we are in a completely new home. This house has so much space and so much potential and we also ended up getting a brand new tree this year. We used to always just use my mom's Christmas tree, but since we have our own place, it was a must to purchase our very own Christmas tree. I was also very excited since this is a much bigger tree than what we were used to. We got a seven and a half foot tree, and now we have a lot more space to decorate, as well as my daughter's playroom, the mantle, and as you can see, we decided to put the tree in this dining space that we normally just keep pretty empty. I think it's going to look so nice, especially being right in front of our window. And with upgrading our tree size, we had to pick up two more lights to add to the tree. So there is a total of six lights throughout. I also had to pick up two more of these blush pom-pom garland. I've been using it on our tree for the last uh, four, three, four years. I picked it up on Hobby Lobby and I love the touch that this garland adds to the tree. Last year I kind of wanted to upgrade our tree topper and I came across this tree topper at Target and I fell in love with it. It is from the Heart and Hand collection. It's just a very simple brass tree topper and I was just obsessed. <laughs> I think it looks so nice with the tree and every year, like always, I have to pick up a few new ornaments and there are a few random ones like the Santa Claus right here, that's a new one. Um, I just love building a collection and I'm very much into the pink Christmas theme lately. So I had to definitely pick up a few more pink ornaments. There's a little close up of the tree topper. Here is my daughter. She had just woken up from her nap and to her surprise, there was now a Christmas tree in the dining room. She loves Christmas and really enjoys putting ornaments on the trees. She was a lot more excited than she looked. She was so a little sleepy as you can see on her sweet little face. She is really into the Grinch, which I love since I am too obsessed with the Grinch. Really quick, I did want to address the band-aid on her forehead. She's not hurt, she's just obsessed with band-aids. We have a playroom for my daughter and of course I'm going to decorate it for Christmas just like I did for Halloween and it was so much fun. I already own this small Christmas tree and it was going to be perfect to have in her playroom. It's already pre-lit, which I had totally forgot. So that just made the job a little bit easier. As you can see, I am just fluffing it up and then I end up adding a garland that I had for our previous tree, but it just no longer works since we only had two. continuing 
with the pink Christmas theme into this playroom. I had picked up a new tree skirt for this tree. Of course, I had to pick up a pink one. It is from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to try and link as many items as I can down below in case any of you guys are interested in anything. As you guys can see, now I'm adding a few ornaments to the tree. I picked up a pink set from Walmart. I think it came with either 9 ornaments or 12. I was also in need of a new tree topper for this tree and I went with this very pretty glittery gold one and it is from Hobby Lobby. Now this is the following day. I think it was two years ago I started decorating the mantle at our old house and since then I've been obsessed. I thought this was a fun little clip of me adding these little town homes that I've been picking up over the last few years from Target. They were super super cheap. We picked up this new stocking holder as well, also from Target, and it's just so perfect and goes so so well with all the little town homes that I already owned. The stockings are also from Target from three years ago or maybe four. up that tree and ended up adding it to the right side of the mantle and I think it looks perfect. Also in the back we have a pre-lit garland. Hi Bowie! <laughs> Sweet little boy. And then there's Juicy. I think the garland in the black really completes the look. Now it is time to start decorating the playground. I started off with styling this shelf. I feel like when it comes down to styling a shelf, it's a lot of trial and error, and I did not really know how I wanted to style this. I picked up a whole bunch of new things, such as these nutcrackers. I have two different sizes, and I also have a few of these Christmas trees. Some are new, some are from last year. I just really kept messing around and seeing what looked good and what didn't. Later on, I remember that I wanted to add this photo of Santa Claus that we all took last year, so then I just squeezed it in and like I said, I just kept moving things around until I liked the way it looked. Next up was to style this little Christmas village for the playroom. I did the same thing for Halloween. Target had released Halloween versions of houses like this and when I saw that they were coming out with Christmas versions, I was so thrilled because I am a total Christmas girly. I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted things to look, so I just kind of messed around. I added a few trees, I added a nutcracker, and I added these three people. All of these things are from Target, except for the snow underneath, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. At this point, I don't feel like there's too much to explain. I just decorated Lucy's kitchen and added a few cute things. This is her bookshelf with majority of her Christmas books. And I have a Christmas themed garland, Cindy Lou Who, and then a countdown to Christmas sign. By this point, I had already finished decorating the playroom and my daughter had just woken up from her nap. She is putting up a few ornaments that I had left aside for her to decorate her tree with and she had a lot of fun doing so. Every day she goes back into the room and reorganizes her ornaments and just plays with all of the ornaments on the tree. And here is one last overview of all of the decor from the playroom.
a few bits of decor throughout the house. Here we have a mistletoe. Love this piece. This is a sign that we're going to be putting outside of the door. And then this little bell that we got from the Target dollar spot. This is a super cute towel set that we picked up also from Target. Love the pink gingerbread. And then we just recently picked up these pine cones. It smells like cinnamon and it makes the house smell so Christmassy. Lastly, I'm going to share pieces that I added into the guest bathroom. Two of the nutcrackers, like I said, I picked up quite a few of these. This hand towel is one of my favorites and I think it's already two years old, if not. Just ignore those pieces that we need to fill in. Um, marshmallow fireside, best seasonal candle, and then a few trees. And this little rug I am obsessed with. And that is all. Thank you so much for joining me in this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!